Ladies and gentlemen, I'm on a mission to show you that continuously failing can make you more successful. But let's start with a show of hands. Who here at times wishes they take more risk, be bolder? Okay, and who here in the last year has substantially increased their risk appetite? <laughs> okay, so exactly, this, this was a big frustration of mine. On the one hand, my desire to be a risk taker, but on the other hand, my inability to actually substantially increase my risk appetite. And this led me to a big question. Why do people struggle to become risk takers? Well, because they know the destination, but they don't know how to actually get there. And that led to a big insight, which is your risk appetite is a muscle, a muscle that you need to train. In the same way that I can't uh, decide to get up one day and be fit like this guy, I can't decide to get up one day and be a risk taker. And although it's clear that if I want to be fit like this guy, I go to the gym and I work out, it's not at all clear what I can do to increase my risk appetite. So I set out to develop a risk appetite exercise regime, failure targets. Now, failure targets are best explained through an example. So let's say you go to a bar with friends and the failure target is rejection. Now, there are three rules. Rule number one is you don't tell anybody in the bar that you're playing a game. Rule number two is the loser pays for the round of drinks. And rule number three is the loser is actually the last person to get rejected by any, by any person in the bar. Now notice the nuance here. From the point of view of getting free drinks, rejection has actually become your goal. So failure has become your target. Now two interesting things start to happen. First of all, you've created a win-win situation. On the one hand, free drinks. On the other hand, an interesting conversation. This actually lowers your apprehension to approach. But the second effect is the most important effect. You find out how incredibly hard it is to fail. If you try this, you see your rejection rate is less than 2%. So what are people worried about? Now these two effects, so the win-win and the realization that it's incredibly hard to fail, they slowly start to increase your confidence. And your confidence makes it harder to fail. You see where this is going? You've basically, with failure targets, created a virtuous cycle to increase your risk appetite. Now this is an example in a social setting, but it can be, uh, failure targets can be applied very broadly. You can apply them in sports, I use them for kite surfing, uh, but also in a business setting. A friend of mine who runs a call center that sells newspaper subscriptions called me and asked me, look, I have all these agents droning through their call scripts and they're not being very effective. What can I do about this? So I told him, give them a failure target. You tell them that you pay them 100 euros for every time that a customer calls back to complain about the unusual way they've been approached. Now the call center agents were a little bit confused about this, but they started experimenting a little bit with their behavior and they started to discover that it's really hard to get customers to call back and to complain about their unusual behavior. In fact, it's the opposite. Most people were pleasantly surprised not to have somebody droning through a call script. So this started to give them confidence, started to allow them to experiment more with their behavior, entering into a virtuous cycle which made them much more effective. Now these are two examples. How can you start with failure targets? Now, failure targets have two components, the failure and the upside. To figure out the failure, a good question to ask yourself is, what's holding me back? What am I afraid of? In the case of the bar, rejection. The second part, the upside, a good question to ask is, how do I spoil myself? Well, in the bar example, free drinks. Now, if you combine the two, you get a failure target. So in the case of the bar, you combine the free drinks if you get rejected really quickly. Two tips if you start to try this out. The first tip is start with friends. The energy that you get from friends, uh, to a certain degree also, the peer pressure really helps to give a momentum to this uh, exercise. And the second tip is make sure that you make your failure targets fun because that adds to the virtuous cycle. That's failure targets, the boot camp for your risk appetite. If you're curious and you want to know more or want to see how other people are using failure targets, go to failuretargets.com. For now, it's up to you. Go out there and have fun failing. Thank you.